Hello guys and welcome to the Unity Security Camp tutorial. So, in this tutorial, this tutorial can by the way be done uh, in any version of Unity above 5.0. So it doesn't matter if it's the free or paid version. But yeah, let's get started. So first thing we gotta do is select our first person controller and or your character, whatever it is you're working with, and make sure that your player actually has the player tag. Okay, so then take the f uh, room you want, select the floor of it, and add a box collider, and increase the size. I'm gonna increase it to 10 because you want it to be above the uh, size your player can jump at, uh, to. And I think this is actually supposed to be height 5, so it doesn't go below. So this will pretty much cover my whole room here. Okay, so next thing we gotta do is make the camera itself. So, 3D object cube, make it. I'm gonna make it to on the z axis. I'm pretty sure the coordinates for me are 8, 8, and let's do 7 for the height. Okay, then right, right click on that and add a camera to it. And by, I'm gonna rename this to camera box. Okay, so. What we want to do now is actually make the pl uh, plane for it, that where it's going to be displayed. So let's go add 3D object plane. Whoops, what just happened? How did I flip the world? Okay, anyways, the plane is up here. Pretty much just want to rotate it like this, so 90 degrees on the z axis. And I'm just gonna move it back a bunch to 30. Now, uh, since most games work in the aspect ratio of 16 by 9, I'm just gonna Scale this to 16 in height. Well, actually, yeah, like that. Now you can see it's actually really large. So just go, whoops, just go R on your keyboard and scale it down. This should be about good, maybe even a bit smaller. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so now to display the material it's from the camera itself on the pane or panel action plane, uh, we want to go create, uh, where is it, render texture. I'm gonna just name it camera and create material also camera now what you want to set the material to is uh, go to legacy shaders diffuse and you want to apply this to it the camera render texture and just apply the material to this now go into your camera on the camera box or your security camera and uh, change the depth to minus one so your player camera always has a higher pre priority and in the target texture field drag your render texture now as you can see we're getting this but I think yeah it's actually flipped so whoops not in that axis we need to rotate it by 90 degrees on this axis And I'm actually pretty sure if I just make this like one by one, yeah, it won't stretch out the image or anything like that. I'm pretty sure. So we can just keep it like this, but let's make it 1.6, Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so now if I go in the game, I can't enter this room because I have to go back to my floor. 
and set the collider we made as is trigger. Okay, so now if I enter the room, you can actually see my player caps on the screen there. So uh, the next thing we need to do is make the camera follow the player. To do this, we're gonna go into our floor, add component, new script, uh, security cam follow. You can cut whatever you want, it doesn't matter since we're not gonna be referencing this in any other script. Open it up real quick. And that, and in here, we want function. Actually, we first want three variables. First variable is var player with type transform. And then it's the second is var camera box. Also of type transform. And the third is var in area. I'm gonna call it of, of type boolean is equal to false. And end the line. Okay, so now we want a function on trigger enter. And here we're gonna go, I usually go info type, uh, info type collider. Okay, so now if info dot tag is equal to string player, then what we want to happen is uh, in area is equal to true. Copy that over. Paste it, change the on trigger ender to on trigger exit, and in area true to in area false. So now go to your function update. We just gonna copy this. So, uh, and you're gonna go if the uh, in area is true. Uh, what you want to do, uh, what you want to happen is camera box dot look at player just like so. I know in that for player, oh, it's lowercase p. Oh, by the way, go to your camera and remove the audio listener component. Okay, so now if we go to our floor, uh, you'll see in the script we have a player and camera box. Drag your player into the player and your camera box in the camera box. Okay, so now if we look at the screen while we enter the room, you can see it's actually following us, <coughs> which is pretty cool. And if I exit it, it stops following us. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <coughs>